Dear students, let me give you an example of how we compute probabilities in the case of a continuous random variable. Let's take the simple case uh, that our continuous random variable x goes from 0 to 1 and f of x is equal to 1. Yani, we are talking about the uniform distribution or the rectangular distribution defined on the interval 0 to 1. Now, in this scenario, if we are interested in this scenario, that we compute the probability compute of x lying between a and b, or any probability in that, uh, on that interval, how do we go? Let's take an example. Uh, suppose that we want to find the probability that x is less than 1 by 8 or x is greater than 7 by 8. Yani, hum is me interested in ki ya wo 1 over 8 se kam ho x ki value ya 7 by 8 se zada ho. So, students, it's not at all difficult. All we have to do is to apply the addition theorem for mutually exclusive events and also to apply the simple calculus and integrate our small f of x. As you can see on the screen, the probability of x being less than 1 by 8 or x being greater than 7 by 8, which is denoted as the union of those two events, that will be equal to the integral from 0 to 1 by 8 of our f of x plus the integral from 7 by 8 to 1 of our f of x. Ab chuke hamara f of x jo hai, that itself is equal to 1 in this interval 0 to 1. Is liye jo jis cheez ko humne integrate karna hai, that is 1. So 1 ka integral kya hota hai? The indefinite integral, as you know, it is x. So lehaza humari jo equation chal rahi hai, it will be equal to the integral of 1 from 0 to 1 by 8, yani x with the limits 0 to 1 by 8, plus the integral of 1 from 7 by 8 to 1, yani plus x with the limits 7 by 8 to 1. So, ab wo limits apply kar dete hain. Uh, wale x pe apply kare 1 by 8, upper limit minus 0, the lower limit, plus dusre wale pe apply kar de, 1, the upper limit, minus 7 by 8, the lower limit. Isko solve kar lije, 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8, that is 2 by 8, that is 1 by 4. So this is the required probability. Isi tarike se, uh, even if they are relatively complicated probability density functions, we can always attempt to compute the desired probabilities through the application of the appropriate mathematical uh, things that we can do on them. In this case, the addition theorem we had to apply because of the union and the integral, of course, we have to take always in order to find the area in that interval. That's how we do it.